Yeah, Coach, I was just going to ask, you know, kind of final few weeks of the season, how has, like, the intensity of practice changed? The hours was definitely less now, and it's, like, it's very – it's, it's, it's tactical, it's strategic. It's more than that than it is about running and, and jumping and all that kind of, you know, silly stuff like that. It's, it's like an hour and 15 minutes long and they need to get cardio in, they gotta do it on their own, but it's, it's gonna now, it's go time now. Yeah. Do you feel like the group's kind of coming together as a team more? I know that's a big goal for you, building the culture and everything. Where do you think they're at in sort of that assessment of culture and everything? I, I think through adversity, you gain sisterhood, and we we've, we've dealt with a lot of adversity. We dealt with a lot of uh, uh, people from all over the place and growing, growing together. And some people didn't make it because they didn't want to grow together. And now that we're here, I mean, anything that happens even off the court, the sisterhood is starting to really show its beautiful face. And and that's really actually why I'm really here. You know, I'm really here to create a culture of of, of, empo of empowering young women, to be phenomenal women. And through that game of basketball, that's happening. And certainly we'd love to continue to win basketball games to, to really let these young people understand that, you know, being a woman, you, you can do so many things. You can you can come together as a sisterhood and you can win basketball games. You can tell your story. You can you can fight, you can cry, and you can become. And I think they're getting that. So I think as of this morning, you guys were listed on the first four out on Bracketology, if you've been looking or not. Um, but what do you think as a team needs to click in order to make that jump into the... To, to talk strategically and, 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 and honestly, we, we got to win uh, two of these three games, in my opinion. And then we got to make some noise in the ACC tournament. And uh, this is a tough game to have to win. <laughs> but, you know, they, they understand that. They, they, they have been told that. And um, I think they understand, you know, the assignment. I think that, you know, Florida State's a really good team and they're going to present the uh, fight after losing two games in a row on the road to come back home and try to do what they need to do as well. And it's going to be a neat situation. It's a it's a wonderful opportunity for young people to kind of get to know themselves. And this game really introduces you, introduces you back to yourself. And what am I made of? What are we made of? What planning is going to be a part of this uh, kind of story? And when it gets tough, are we going to actually go and do our separate things or are we going to come together as one? The team that comes together is the team that's going to have the, the, the most points at the end. And I just think that our story is so intense right now that it's time for us to, you know, raise some banners. So I talked to you guys before about kind of this three-game stretch of ranked teams, one one lost one. Um, what are you looking to see from Florida State? Florida State is going to be a team that is um, going to present a desperation. Uh, they have been a team that's been consistently winning throughout the year. And um, they show some signs that they're vulnerable as well. And we have been vulnerable all year, <laughs> you know. Everybody can say fourth quarter and they'll be right. And mm -hmm. we haven't had success there. And so we've been through this adversity and this like uncertainty. And we've, we're we equipped to handle it now. And the question would be, will, will Florida State be ready to handle their adversity since it's so new to them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then also on the defense, you've been noting that you, you've been seeing the improvement. They've been starting to figure it out more. How about the past week or so? Well, we, we did a better job against um, Notre Dame, but we're not nearly where I think we should be. Well, you're 15th out of 15th in defense, and that says a little bit about, oh, you know, it hurts, it hurts. But I think that, you know, through all of what we've been through, the, the process of getting better is what we are looking to do. And if we can continue to get better and start from now to the end of our season, whatever that may be, through the NCAA, NIT, whatever it is, ACC a tournament, if we can kind of now control the uh, aha moment we get the defense, we know what you're talking about, and, and, and lock in here, we could be playing for a long time. How important is rebounding going to be with a matchup like Florida State? And it just feels like that's been kind of a key stat for you guys throughout the season as well. We've been willing, able to the rebound better because we've been boxing out better, you know, and that, that middle person's coming down and trying to get dirty with it and hitting the floor for us a little bit more. And I think, you know, as a rebounding person myself, who jumped 16 inches off the ground in her, her biggest you know, day, I value the box out. I value the weak side box out. And if we can value the box out more than anything, and, and that middle person coming down there and doing what they need to do, uh, the rebound is gonna take care of itself. And our goal was to average about 40, 43, 44 rebounds this season. I think we're right there. But this is a team, this is a game where I think the shots are gonna be a lot of desperation shots on from them and for us 
I think the rebounds are going to be long. I think the rebounds are going to be plentiful. And I think that in order for us, the team that wins this game is going to be the team that gets about 48 rebounds. Who do you think in particular needs to step up as we approach the final stretch of the season? I think all of us can do a little bit more. You know, I think that, you know, you know, Tisha is going to be better. Her knees are stronger now. I think you're going to get more 85 to 90 percent of her. I think Deja can take over a game a lot earlier. I think Georgia can really have the desperation she felt in the second half of Notre Dame that can come out a little bit earlier. I think Elena can absolutely play better than she played uh, her last two games. And so, and Stretch is doing Stretch stuff now. Stretch can lock into that, and maybe Sanaya can help us on, on a scoring punch a little bit, maybe four or five points and five or five or six rebounds. So they all can do more. Uh, it, it, it's just that, you know, sometimes you just got to get a little lucky too. And so we're, we're, we're banking on the fact that we strategically did some things the last two days and I thought we did a great job. And on game day when the ball goes up, that they can bring their confidence and their composure and their strategic mindset to be tactic technically ready. You mentioned Tisha's getting better. How's Asia looking in practice? It was great to see her out there in a hometown game the other day for a couple of minutes, and I'm sure she's just kind of working her way back, maybe. It's ongoing, honestly. I, I just don't know if she's ready yet. You know, she wants it. We want it for her. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Asia. But, you know, I don't know if she's ready. And I really won't put a kid out there who really can hurt herself more. And so we'll see how the day tomorrow goes and shoot around and, We'll try her maybe again tomorrow in the game, but I wouldn't bank on her being ready before the ACC tournament. Anything else? Thank you.